Well, Palace to the Core here, me, Stephen Dawes, and uh, I'm back. I hope that you've missed me. I uh, Because we had the three-week break, I thought that I would um, take a little break myself as well and just come back if anything major happened, which really hasn't happened. There's been talk, as there always is, about us being linked with this player and that player, but nothing really concrete has happened recently. Um, the, obviously, the under-18s, under-21s, and the women's team have been playing, and they've had some good results as well, especially the women's team. Uh, a few days ago, they had a great result themselves. So things have been happening, but um, I thought that I would wait until something uh, you know, something more concrete comes along. And it is actually something in the Daily Mail, which I know is the Daily Mail. But they've, um, they've gone with a story about Crystal Palace looking to arrange a loan with the view to a particular uh, particular view to summer spending. Um, so let's take a look at that article together, shall we? Okay, so this is in the Daily Mail, as I said, and it says, Crystal Palace take out loan from American lenders as they prepare for a busy summer in the transfer market with Michael Elise, Mark Gahey and Eze in demand. Now, I think that we are going to be losing a couple of players in the, in, in the summer. I really hope that we don't. But anyway, let me go into this um, article, which says, Palace have taken out a loan from American lenders MGG Investment Group in a move which suggests the club are preparing for a busy summer in the transfer market with a significant number of player sales. The loan is understood to be to secure it against future transfer receipts, with sources involved telling uh, the mail sport that the money is to be used for fund, player trading and day-to-day -day operating costs. Uh, a number of Premier League clubs have increasingly used so-called bridging loans from investment companies to provide upfront access to cash. Uh, they are owed in transfer installments from rivals. But Palace's deal with MGG in indicates that they are planning for future sales. The club have not received a significant transfer fee since selling Norwegian striker Alexander Sorloff to Red Bull Leipzig for 18 million four years ago. So any future installments due will be negligible. The club have not yet published their 2023 accounts, but recorded combined losses of over 125 million over the previous three year period. Um, they have since been hit by a 50% increase in the cost of redeveloping the main stand to 150 million. Palace have received additional funding from their existing shareholders to help fund the stadium redevelopment, but are also seeking external investment. Mailsport re uh, revealed in January that Palace held talks with former club sales specialist Rain Group who ran the uh, Chelsea sale process two years ago, as well as a Manchester United auction. Um, but uh, MMG, MGG and Palace have declined to comment. Now, the thing I take away here is the fact that it's being used for funding transfers and day-to-day -day operations. So not all of the money that they borrowed is going to be going towards future, uh, future players. However, I'm sad to say, but I do think we're going to lose at least one of our good players, either Gehi, Elise or um, Eze or someone like that. I think we're going to lose at least one of them in the summer. I hope that we don't. And obviously you can't, you can't say, you can't, you know, no one really knows what's inside uh, those players' heads, whether they want to stay or whether they want to go. I hope that they would want to stay for another season so that we can see how they develop under, uh, over, under Glasner. But... I do think that we might lose at least one of those in the summer. Plus, I think we're probably going to get rid of a few players that Oliver Glasner doesn't want or doesn't need. Um, so I think there are going to be a few leaving. Hopefully, uh, Doogie, because we know that Doogie plans for the long term and he looks at players for for a long period of time before he, he buys them. So hopefully he's got a few names on his list that uh, he and Oliver are, are quite happy with and he will bring those in. I'm sure Oliver Glasner's also got his own wish list that uh, hopefully will be uh, looked at as well. But the fact that they are borrowing money with a view to buying players, plus obviously the cash we get for players that we sell, um, could mean that we're going to be, um, this could be another busy season for us in the transfer market. Obviously, it depends on whether players come at the right price. Obviously, we know that Crystal Palace are always looking to get the best deal possible and they're not going to spend over the odds Sure, Henderson. But anyway, um, they're obviously not going to sp spend over the odds for a player. But I think that um, hopefully this means that we're going to be moving forward in the summer, bringing in some new players, getting rid of some of the older players or some of the players who he thinks are not going to be a regular part of the team. But also building a bit of a bigger squad so that we've got some capacity should we get another serious injury situation like we had this season. So it's looking good, hopefully, if this works out and if this is article is true. It looks like we're going to have a busy summer, which would be fantastic. Let me know down in the comment section who, firstly, who you think will be uh, out the door first. Who do you think will be the player that will say, actually, I want to go somewhere else? And also, if you had the choice, who would you bring in to uh, complement what we've already got in the team? Let me know down in the comment section, as always, and don't forget to subscribe for more.